Alright everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what happens when you use an IPv6 root advertisement exploit attack um, stress test against Windows 8 consumer release. So this was a known exploit back in 2010 that the neighbor discovery protocol implementation in the IPv6, attack, IPv6 stack in Microsoft Windows XP Server 2003, Vista, Server 2008, and Windows 7 allows remote attackers to cause a denial of service, which is CPU consumption and system hang, by sending many router advertisement RA messages with, from, with different source addresses, as demonstrated by the Flood Router 6 program, which is available in Backtrack 5. So yeah, I tried it out in Windows 7, and yeah, it's quite spectacular. It makes the CPU usage go absolutely flat out, and yeah can't do anything, you just have to power off. So Microsoft were informed about that and uh, yeah, they said they would correct it in Windows 8. So let's see just how good their efforts really are. So we notice at the moment everything seems to be working absolutely fine. We have internet connectivity. Networking is absolutely fine there. CPU usage isn't too bad. I've allocated this virtual machine for CPU cores. So, we open up our trusty Backtrack 5, which is connected to the same wired network as the Windows 8. Of course, you could do this attack over wireless as well. So, flood router 6, just press enter, you get a bit of information about it. So, what I want is just flood router 6 on ETH 0. Now, you notice the Wireshark there going absolutely mental there with uh, router advertisement packets. Uh, Windows 8 has spiked on the CPU. Mouse movements are getting pretty unresponsive, so we'll just try and open something up. It's very slow. And let me just stop. Just try and uh, use it again. Windows 7 would have carried on flat out with the CPU usage and uh, wouldn't have been recoverable. Still working absolutely fine. config slash all. Ah, <laughs> that's strange. <laughs> Seem to have a few routers in there. So Windows 8 has sort of recovered and seems to be working absolutely fine now. If I keep the attack going and backtrack 5 then as you can see it's not particularly usable. So Windows 8 is still exploitable to the router advertisement attack, albeit not as bad as previous versions of Windows. I'd say I'm certainly causing a denial of service here. It is pretty unusable. Just trying to type in the Google search bar and uh, nothing's happening. And you notice now we have a lost network connection. So yeah, sustained attack will knock out Windows 8 in the end. Notice now it's just, well, not responding. Yeah, Google is not responding. <laughs> yeah, my, my network connection. Uh, what, what am I supposed to do now? So IP config is in a bit of a mess there. Got an awful lot of routers uh, it's supposedly connected to. Okay, well we might as well restart Windows and uh, just see if it comes back all right. We we'll just go straight onto the desktop. Ah, interesting. <laughs> Still have no network connectivity. That's no good, is it? Try and go on the internet. It's still not responding very well. So that router attack has done some lasting damage there. Sort of found the way out of it, you do have to go into like the troubleshoot problems. Run that troubleshooter, it does eventually come back online after a couple of attempts. But yeah, it uh, certainly is quite useful that uh, denial of service. It'll, um, it'll knock out internet usage for a little while on the Windows 8 machine. And say for Windows 7 and previous versions, well, you you can't do anything, you just have to power the machine off. You can't even shut down properly. Now, of course, with this router advertisement attack, obviously you should only use it on your own network, and of course, don't go down to Starbucks and use it on the free wireless network. Not that I'm suggesting anything, of course. <laughs> Would be quite funny. Well, isn't that helpful? Wired Ethernet connection doesn't have a valid IP configuration. We'll go fix it then. <laughs> so anyway, Linux and Mac aren't affected by the router advertisement attack. As you can see, all versions of Windows are. FreeBSD is, as well as PlayStation 3 and Xbox. So, certainly a good denial of service tool there. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. 
see you later.